What is going on everybody? Second day of Madden 18 is under our belts and I just wanted to take some time to make a video to talk about what seems to be the new route running threshold this year in Madden 18 for your receivers to run those nicer crisper routes than what normal receivers would usually run. So in years past, at least last year in Madden 17 and Madden 16 the year before for sure as well, the route running threshold for these routes was 96. And now this year, it seems like they lowered it to 91. Obviously, uh, they put a big emphasis on lowering the ratings across the board and making, you know, higher, ra ra higher ratings a feel, you know, that much better. But right here, you see Emmanuel Sanders running this in route here against uh, this off man-to-man -man coverage. And you can see this is Emmanuel Sanders' 92 a route running. Uh, versus Demarius Thomas who has I believe 88 or 89 so very minuscule difference the, it was the smallest difference I could find between two receivers on the same roster uh, where one had these crisper routes and one didn't but you can clearly see the difference there uh, between Emmanuel Sanders and Demarius Thomas Sanders already basically in his cut and running back up at full speed by the time Demarius is still in the middle of chopping his feet and you can see right there just how quickly you can get the ball out of your hands with a receiver who can run that in route as crisp as someone like Emmanuel Sanders can right there on the other side you try to throw it to Demarius Thomas yeah he caught it Demarius is still a great receiver but it was a much tougher catch a diving catch that corner's gonna have a lot less separation he's gonna be able to make up that ground a lot quicker uh, than someone who is running those routes you know much crisper and much quicker and not really losing much acceleration right there you see the corner all over Demarius and ended up breaking it up. So you can see the clear difference in in routes. And there's a few routes I want to talk about. It's in routes mainly, out routes, post routes, and deep crossing routes. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and run it against man-to-man -man press coverage this time and kind of show you uh, how much of a difference. I think it's even um, more of a you know difference maker against press coverage right there. You see how wide open De or Emmanuel Sanders rather and gets open against that press coverage when running that in route. Whereas conversely, on the other side, you're going to see Demarius Thomas just not really get that separation. His defender was draped all over him. He still almost came down with that ball, but like I said, Demarius is a great receiver. Uh, but you can just kind of see right here how much inside leverage Emmanuel Sanders has compared to Demarius Thomas. You can literally see Demarius Thomas's defender is directly beneath him uh, where Emmanuel Sanders is definitely was at least a step or two behind him when running that in route right there you see actually through that a little late sanders still ended up holding on to it ideally when you have these receivers who are running these super crisp routes you want to throw it right as they cut to take advantage of how quickly they're running these routes and like i said another a way you can take advantage of this is with these deep crossing routes in this case i'm going to run verticals out of gun bunch and you're going to see it uh, this was a popular play obviously last year verticals pretty much a popular play almost every year but uh, you can see right here how quickly emmanuel sanders gets across the field separates himself from that man-to-man -man coverage and is able to get open another thing an, or another reason rather why this is great i think is because of the fact that it gives you that option so much quicker against a pressure style of defense so many people online love sending pressure love sending heat uh, when you have a receiver who's running these routes much quicker uh, you don't have to wait in the pocket and kind of try and buy an extra, you know, half a second, quarter of a second in the pocket to let your receiver kind of go through the motions and get across the field. Like right here with Demarius Thomas, you're going to see just how slowly and how deliberately he kind of makes that cut. Yeah, he still gets the separation right there against the man-to-man -man coverage. He's still going to get a little bit of separation, but it's just not as clean, not as quick as you were seeing from Emmanuel Sanders in the example before uh, right here actually against uh, the man-to-man -man coverage obviously Thomas is still a great receiver uh, right there man-to-man -man does a better job and actually ends up hitting Thomas as soon as he caught the ball and Thomas held on uh, but obviously a much tighter throw you feel a lot more comfortable throwing to Sanders in that case uh, when he was running that route a lot quicker right here another way you can take advantage of this is uh, those backside deep post routes so you saw this a lot last year with z spot out of gun bunch uh, right here i'm in y corner out of gun y trips week and then you see sanders uh, just running that route very crisply um obviously last year uh, with z spot skimbo uh, made that play famous basically by himself and uh, he would always have a receiver you know with that 
high route running threshold above that threshold to get across the field you know that much quicker and and to make his routes you know that much more crisp to get that separation against whether it was man coverage or you know getting across the field on zone right here another example Demarius Thomas running this route and you can kind of see how much slower it is I mean it, you can really feel it especially when you're in the pocket and you're trying to step up and buy some time to try and you know a manufacturer a little more time in the pocket right there the pressure actually gets to me even if it was Sanders that that block shed was very quick uh, he still wouldn't have gotten it but right there you see uh, Thomas man to man and the man was draped all over him so you not only have to wait a little bit longer but you're not getting that same super consistent separation in the last case right here is gonna be out routes so gun tight great formation uh, to be able to showcase this example you have Sanders on one side Thomas on the other and you can see in these out routes I mean it's the same thing as the in route just in reverse a gun tight happens to be the perfect formation to kind of showcase this because you get one on each side you can really compare both of them perfectly side by side to each other and you can see Sanders already in his cut and already reaccelerated back up to full speed and Thomas is still chopping his feet in his cut you can see how much more you know outside positioning Sanders has on that outside flat defender than Thomas did at the time of his break so right there still these out routes still gonna be effective I'm not saying you know if you have a receiver under uh, the threshold that it's not gonna be effective but obviously having a receiver above at 91 or above uh, in terms of the route running rating is gonna be beneficial in my opinion now in Mutt, there's only two receivers, I believe, that have 91 or higher route running, and that is the legend Chris Carter and Antonio Brown, the base elite. Um, Jarvis Landry, I believe, has 90 route running, uh, but you're not going to be able to get him up to 91. Not that I know of. There may be a way, so don't quote me on that. But uh, as far as I know, there's not a way to get him up, so your only option is going to be Chris Carter and... Um, Antonio Brown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. And until next time, guys, take it easy.